Welcome back to my kitchen. Today, I'm going to show you my famous buttermilk pancakes. Very simple ingredients, very easy to do, and uh, I think you will enjoy it. There's one trick that I use that I think makes the biggest difference when making buttermilk pancakes, and that is sifting your flour like nobody sifts their flour. I find that if you sift your flour, it makes your pancakes nice and fluffy, and you'll notice when it's in the pan and it's sizzling away, there'll be little bubbles all in it. That gives it that light, fluffy, airiness about them. Perfect pancakes every time. So before we get started, just click that subscribe button down below. I'll wait for you to do it. Oh, you did it? Awesome. Okay. So now that you've clicked the subscribe button, make sure that the little bell next to it says notification. Make sure you click that one too. That way you'll be notified every time I have a video that pops up. So uh, at the end of this video, I wanted to say that I will show you a little hack. If you end up having too much batter or if you end up having too much pancakes left over, you can use this recipe for waffles too, but it's a good trick for pancakes and waffles. If you end up having leftovers and you don't want to throw them away or you don't have a dog like I used to that I'd give her some pancakes, then at the end of this video is a good hack on what you can do with your leftovers. So now that we've introduced everything, let's get to baking us some pancakes. Boop! Okay, let's make some pancakes. So as you saw, I used two cups of flour and then as I mentioned earlier you sift them together so you want to sift your flour really well all of it and if you want to add in the other dry ingredients and sift them also you can do that as well it just makes for fluffier pancakes a lot of recipes that I've seen on YouTube and on other recipes they they just don't sift their flour uh, there are some recipes out there that do but I haven't seen too many the ones that I've seen they just kind of put the flour in but but I like to sift it. It adds an airiness and a fluffiness to your pancakes and it keeps it less dense. So uh, after I did that, I just did three tablespoons of white sugar and then I did one teaspoon of the baking soda. Yep, some baking soda that'll help it to rise. And uh, after I did that, I grabbed some of my pink Himalayan salt. This salt is a lot healthier for you. You can eat and intake a lot of it. And it's less sodium, but it's really, really good for you. Um, so then you whisk it, whisk it together. And as you can see there, I've kind of made a little bit of an indent in the middle. And once you do that, you just set it aside and time to start on the wet ingredients. So I got two cups of unpasteurized whole buttermilk. Then I took two large white eggs. And what I did was I lightly beat them together so that I can incorporate them into the buttermilk. Now you don't have to overly beat your eggs. You're not making scrambled eggs, which here's a little side note for you. If you do want some scrambled eggs, like if you're making this for breakfast and you want some eggs with them, the best recipe for scrambled eggs is eggs, some sour cream, salt, pepper, and a little butter. Mix it together, oh, beat it really good. Nice and fluffy eggs. Now, the next thing is two tablespoons of unpasteurized, unsalted rather, butter. So what I did was I melted the butter in the microwave. Normally for my microwave, it takes about 30 seconds to melt some butter. So I just melted the butter. And um, now the thing about putting the butter in and mixing it all in is that if you put in the butter with the eggs, if you're not constantly stirring it, it will actually cook the eggs. So you have to, when you pour your butter in, make sure to mix it and stir really, really well to combine it. And that breaks it up and it allows some of the cooler air to heat up, uh, to cool down some of that butter while you're mixing it with the eggs and it doesn't cook your eggs. Then you just combine the two, the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients. And you just stir and whisk away until you reach that perfect consistency. It's not going to be too thin, but it's not going to be too thick, almost like a pancake, like a cake batter of some sort, but it's the perfect, uh, the perfect consistency. Now, if you want thinner pancakes and have those little thin pancakes, I would suggest um, increasing your buttermilk just a little bit. And now it's time to heat up the stove 
and melt that butter so that whenever you put, I don't use pan spray or any of that, I just get a little sliver of butter and I stick it in the pan and let it melt together. That way it adds a little bit more of a buttery flavor whenever the pancakes are cooking. And then I take two ice cream scoops full and then it's time to flip and sizzle. Mm, just hearing that makes my mouth water. Oh, so good. These pancakes were awesome. Perfect addition to your breakfast meal. And there you have it, my friends. You've got the perfect pancake stack. Now, if you really want to increase the flavor of everything, heat up your syrup. That definitely draws out all the flavor and makes it even better. Now, for the little trick, put the date and the day of the week on a uh, Ziploc bag. Pop them in, pop the pancake, leftover pancakes or batter into a bag and stick it in your freezer and you're good to go and it will last a long while. If you're liking some of these cooking things that I put together, just comment below and let me know if this is something you like because I got some great feedback on the, on the smoothies. And uh, if this pancake recipe is something that you like and you want me to do more cooking things, I can definitely do that. So uh, yeah, leave a comment below and um, I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday and I will see you next time. Bye.